Okay, so the first card that came out, Taurus, was obviously love yourself first. And I feel this has to do with the new energy that's being experienced. Now, all the way over here came out the reconciliation. And like I said, some of you, you know, had to nurture yourself and love yourself. And now you're going to go for a new start. And some of you had the space and now, you know, the separation from an old, maybe even an ex. But time apart has made... Um, things kind of a new energy fresh energy a healed energy to either bring an old connection back together here we have romantic feelings past life um, past life relationship healing family issues and you deserve love and i feel this is this is what the self-love was a healing space to be able to reconnect with an old fling i feel someone where you always still had a profound connection with and this was a learning space and with for the for the both of you because i'm not feeling any like harsh energies it's just one of those things maybe it was just you know great person but bad time and now it's it's becoming a good time because you've prioritized yourself and me too and life will be different conversations will be different things will be different let's see um for some of you it's, it's just purely a separation and your guys are just kind of separating right you, you know some of you did have separation and just kind of took a break all right zipper give me more on this energy for taurus please these readings have been very intense this week, I have to say. Um, sorry, give me more on these energies for Taurus. I feel the Cancer energy is very uncomfortable um, for a lot of people or just stirring things up. So here we have um, Five of Pentacles, which is financial material. Change, so change. Change is happening on a physical level, moving on and probably during the separation, so much has changed uh, and you needed to find and harmonized space for yourself with the Six of Swords within the mind because the swords are the mind. So a mental break, loving yourself. There was a mental break needing needed here. We have the Magician and the Sacral. This makes sense to regain your confidence, to reignite yourself, to put yourself out there to date again. But also it's just a healing energy. The Magician, the Magician is the one it has to do, is this, to me, this is a karma learning your lessons, accountability to self, understanding your experiences, understanding why, all the whys. This is where you get to ask all the whys and then really understand the you, yourself, um, and then come out stronger, right? Because that's where you get to alchemize. Um, Eight of Cups, emotional loss. Really tap into this intuition, high priestess. This time alone, the high priestess spends a lot of time alone. So this loving yourself, nurturing your emotions because this is two greens five of cups eight of cups walking away from emotional baggage or even setbacks or things that have been like not healed um and spending this time alone to really understand that i want to point out death card and ace of cups which is a transformational period to find self-love because this is the one again this is a sit alone there was a lot of time to reflect here and to heal and now it's like this rejuvenated energy after some healing period with your sacral and great you know sacral activation is that dating energy and wanting to rekindle for some of these reconciliation and for some of you who are really going to start dating and who knows what you find right there you go that's six of wands yeah ace of cups like new beginnings but it was a you know there was a period of resolving and spending time alone that's just very give me more this financial material change page of swords give me more this financial material change yeah and this was building that resilience lots of changes three of pentacles focusing on you learning for some of you page of swords is um personal development growing yourself learning it's apprenticeship learning um elevating your consciousness with the mind and really fresh energy bringing in fresh energy working on yourself some of you this was actual therapy 
you know, and that's okay. Some of you is through other rituals that helped you grow and create this confidence, that sacral energy, confidence level, increased resilience and more um, strength within yourself, your soul, your spirit, your, and just loving yourself. It's a self-love place. It's, it's just so much strength within the space. So spirit, give me more of this moving on, the sun. Um, Leo, uh, August could be a very fun time for you guys. <laughs> give me more of this moving on. Yeah, rerouting yourself. August could be a very fun time for you guys, dating, meeting people. Um, and, and I feel more stable. So the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you've grounded this, diet, this space while you really learned about you. And so now you feel more rooted and moving on and finding more what aligns to you. So this is just new energy, Taurus, that, 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 is, that you're embodying, which is what's going to attract. So when you spend time alone this can attract everybody exes new lovers you name it um this is what self-love looks like you know because you're vibrating at a different energy and it exudes and it and it just attracts so it's very more on this magician beautiful give me more on this, this you know what i had to stop right there Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, freeing yourself. Look at all these ones. Magician is a one. Ace of Pentacles is a one. Ace of Wands is a one. These are new beginnings, fresh energy. Like I said, some of you are rekindling with someone um, in your past. So it's very good. more of the sacred chakra. This is all a fresh energy. Give me more of the shape. So I could be dealing with a Leo, strong Leo here with the strength and the sun give me more on the sacral and the sacral energy as well can we run the sacral chakra here can we run the sacral chakra yeah after a period of healing the star three of swords in the bottom walking away from a lot of things just i think to me it's more of a mentally understanding what was holding you back there was a lot of healing, you know, with the star, the four of cups, disappointments, um, temperance, finding balance within your masculine feminine energy, which is really just your emotions and, and your, your, your resilience, the sun, right? Of, and your strength and your logic. So a lot of that, that being balanced out again in terms of how we magician energy, you know, participated in our connections and really setting yourself up for abundance ten of cups with this sacral energy you know really reigniting yourself and feeling more confident on what abundance looks like to you now what happiness looks like to you now and you know again some of you can be dealing with an aquarius um or sagittarius maybe rekindling things with a sag during this time maybe feeling feeling and that your person more um yeah transformation again so this has been a very trans a pivotal time there goes that emperor energy some of you can be dealing with a aries but let's see what this recon reconciliation is spirit what is this reconciliation this is reconciliation tell me more about this reconciliation here the taurus four of wands come on this reconciliation jeez and a beginning and then ten of pentacles just wanted to show up so so this is definitely and then there was that magician strong gemini someone's coming back i don't know who it is you guys know who you're waiting on who you're kind of expecting who you're thinking about who you want this beginning but strong sign is fire sign leo here um sagittarius aquarius and gemini before of wands and the fool something's coming coming back and reviving itself it's it's like i said it's coming in with fresh energy this is fresh this is extremely fresh with whoever you're rekindling and you know attracting so let's just see some blockages for you what's the blockage here for taurus what was the blockage here what was happening deceit this person lied before and will again 
you know, maybe healing from deceit, you know, all these past connections, which I feel like it's what you were spending time on. Intentions, yep. Ask their intent and set clear ones for yourself. Being more intentional when you're dating. Um, I feel this is this is what you've learned with that intuition, High Priestess. You've you faced these aspects of you that allow this kind of energy. So you put yourself first because you were tired of all these um, experiences that that were 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 manifesting in your life at the time and you realize that you didn't really have clear attentions you weren't really asking and at this point you're i feel you more empowered in this magician because now you know your power and now you know how to bring in these ones these new beginnings and i feel there's a more sense of direction here with the intentions that you're going to request from anyone who comes into your energy and even for whoever you're reconciling that the expect these are the expectations fresh energy and and commitment and it is what it is if it's not with it, this you're not you're not going for it Taurus so um spirit give me a guidance for Taurus please just a guidance for Taurus beautiful Taurus I mean talk about vibrating high love Love thy, the, love thy neighbor as you love thyself. The highest vibration in the universe is love. Open your heart and let love in. Only then will you attract back to you. And that's what I'm saying. It's just you're you're going to vibrate differently. And it's about what you want. I feel lots of fresh energy here and optimism. And you're going to attract exactly what you want. You know what your abundance is now. And it's not going to be anything less than that got to match your vibration at this point all right spirit what is the guidance self-love message from source for taurus please love is a force of nature it has the power to transform all things believe yes again talking about the vibration of love and understanding its force and how it has the power to transform so when you love yourself love yourself first that's why spirit was saying you had to love yourself first and so how that's how you gained the freedom and the liberation and the strength and the courage and you know no one can take that away from you now um because it's you've transformed and now you believe you believe in yourself you believe in your love you believe in your vibration and you believe you could have the commitment you want so it's it comes with a place of like from a place of grace but freedom at the same time so beautiful taurus i'm gonna leave it right there i love you taurus um something good is gonna come up stay in your vibration because you're vibrating high and that's exactly what attracts good energy anyway it's all great opportunities so please like share subscribe